No. Hey, I found this fabulous book. It's quite old. Well, it was published, first published a long time ago. Do you know where to find out when a book was published? Let me show you. Several pages in, it will tell you. And this was first published in 1964. Wow. But since then, it's been published a lot of other times. So it's a very special book. It's called The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. And it's a HarperCollins publication from America. It's called The Giving Tree. Whoops. Here we go. Once there was a tree. Hmm. A lovely looking tree, isn't it? And she loved a little boy. You can just spy his foot coming onto the page. And every day the boy would come. Wow, looks like the boy loves that tree. And he would gather her leaves. Oh, looks like the leaves are falling down. Do you like gathering leaves? So do I. You have lots of fun, can't you? And make them into crowns and play King of the Forest. That's pretty cool. He would climb her trunk. And you can just see his feet and his hands wrapping themselves around her trunk. and swing from her branches. Oh, there he is. I didn't think I could find him. And there are his shoes at the bottom. And eat apples. And there's an apple cores falling down from the tree. That makes me think that this might be an apple tree. And they would play hide and seek together. He's hiding behind some rocks. Do you like playing hide and seek too? So much fun, isn't it? And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade, just underneath there. And the boy loved the tree. Here he is, giving her a lovely hug around the bottom of her trunk. Very much. Wow. He's even scratched a wee sign that says me and T. I think the T stands for tree. And the tree was happy. But time went by. Oh look, the boy's grown up a little bit. And the boy grew older. Oh look, he's put another heart on the tree as somebody else's name, not the tree. And the tree was often alone. Hmm. Then one day the boy came to the tree and the tree said to the boy, Come boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I'm too big to climb and play, said the boy to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will
will have money and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. Wow, look at all those apples. Delicious. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy. And she said, come, boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. Oh, I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. And I want a wife and I want children and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house. But you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. Hmm. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. Hmm. Something's happened to our tree. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time and when he came back, the tree was so happy that she could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered, come and play. I'm a too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. Mm -hmm. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. Oh. Hmm. And the tree was happy, but not really. After a long time, the boy came back again. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I'm too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I'm too tired to climb, said the boy. I'm sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I am sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down, sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. Wow, that's a beautiful story. That's given me a lot to think about how we treat our creatures, especially our trees. We need to look after them. Do we really need all the things that we say we need? That's food for thought, isn't it? I hope you've enjoyed listening to and reading this book with me today. Kaki